welcome back to the channel let's jump straight into it uh terra 2.0 is coming we've had some official tweets come from the official account the actual account not one of these fake accounts that go around tweeting the actual terra luna account so guys let's start from the top Terra 2.0 is coming. With overwhelming support, the Terra ecosystem has voted to pass Proposal 1623, calling for the genesis of a new blockchain and the preservation of our community. Terra is powered by a passionate community and a deep pool of developers' talent. Many of you shared thoughts and ideas on the proposal, and those contributions led to significant improvements. Thank you for your engagement. Our strength will always be in our community and today is the most resounding sign yet of our resilience. We can't wait to resume our work together, building the future of money. As you can see, the proposal allocates a large portion of the token distribution to provide runway for existing Terra DApp developers to align the interest of developers with the long-term success of the ecosystem. Token distribution details can be found in the governance proposal, but to summarize, the community pools 30%, the pre-attack lunars holders is 35%, pre-attack AUST holders 10%, post-attack lunar holders 10%, post-attack UST holders 15%. Uh, Luna will be airdropped across, <clears throat> excuse me, Luna will be airdropped across Luna Classic stakers, Luna Classic holders, residual UST holders, and essential app developers of Terra Classic. The final release of the new Terra Core has been released in preparation for the new chain launch on the 27th of May. Um, so yeah, the code has successfully passed an audit by the SCV Security Core Audit. Okay, so it's passed auditing, it's going to go ahead and um, it effectively will create a new Terra chain without the algorithmic stablecoin. The old chain will be called Terra Classic Token Lunk. And the new chain will be called Terra Token Luna. The chain upgrade will commence a few hours after the launch snapshot. The Terra Ecosystem Revival Plan, which has everything you need to know about our path forward, you can read in full there, guys, which um, I have provided the link to this prior in previous videos, but I will link it again. I'm not going to go over it again, so I don't keep repeating myself. So I already have this open. Let me close that because I opened two of them. And this is pretty much um, where, hang on a sec, where is the link? There you go. So this is the link um, about the uh, new Terra Core, pretty much everything you would need to know the security and uh, all of like the little white paper bits and everything like that. So you can come and have a look at this. I'll leave a link to um, this in the description so you guys can check out. So as you can see it seems that we will be going ahead and creating a new uh, Luna coin now Binance has come out and stated here we go the Terra community has just passed a vote to rebirth Terra network we are working closely with the Terra team on a recovery plan aiming to provide impacted users on Binance with the best possible treatment stay tuned for further updates and then we also have Duquan replying um, directly to um, one of my tweets uh, pretty much let me go to it here if I go to there we go uh, please confirm for the 99% of people asking if you're getting a airdrop on exchanges and he has replied to me exchanges okay so um, yeah you don't need to have your um, Luna on Terra Station. It doesn't need to be in a specific place as long as it's on an exchange and um, it falls in within all of the other categories. Then yeah, you're fine. Uh, nice cup of tea. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, what can we take away from this? Uh, on Friday, the new coin will be born. The snapshot will be taken, and yeah who knows what's going to happen after that so i'll keep covering it i'll update you as guys uh, up you update you guys as these things unfold and um yeah i'll uh, catch you in the next one Shloop.